With the release of 3.0 one year ago, Age of Sigma has seen a raft of new books released to modernize many armies. While exciting, this has actually led to issues for this channel, with multiple videos now outdated and unfunny. And while they were always unfunny, at least at one point they were current. However, I think we found a solution. Releasing videos and factions that have recently been updated, because how often can they release battle tones for Daughters of Cain? Daughters of Cain, or no, I swear I just collect them for the lore, Lords, are one of Games Workshop's earliest attempts at female representation, and it shows. A whirlwind of blade-wielding big-haired bikini babes, murderous gorgon-esque snakes, and viciously fast winged harpies, they are an army for fans of Russ Meyer and Monster Girl fetishes. So, in other words, about 40% of the Age of Sigma fanbase. Daughters of Cain finally provide the answer to what a matriarchal society would look like, and that answer is much more efficient. D.O.K. are led by Marathi a true girl boss and maybe the only actually competent god in the mortal realms, despite only recently being promoted, outsmarting the guy this whole game is named after multiple times. Marathi is one of the best looking models in the game, both as an imposing and elegant dark elf queen, or as a towering twisted monster. But Marathi is not just looks, she has an impressive war scroll, uh, war scrolls, powerful magic, dominating command abilities, bucket loads of output, and best of all, she can't die. Well, she can, and often does. 12 wounds on a 4-up is actually pretty soft, but the Ironheart guarantees she survives three and a half turns. No ifs, buts, sig vaults, purple suns, or any other deliberate misreading of rules. Frankly, this YouTube channel couldn't be more invested in the Shadow Queen without her starting an OnlyFans. Welcome to my new channel, Age of Simping. With or without her, the Dark A Elves are a frenetic buzzsaw on the battlefield. The army moves fast and often produces scary output, only becoming harder, better, faster, stronger as the rounds go on, thanks to their Blood Rights table, the main DOK allegiance ability that stacks increasingly powerful buffs on the army with every passing turn. Unsurprisingly, the army has multiple ways to move further along the Blood Rights table early, with 5th round buffs not particularly hard to achieve. People even speak of a mythical 6th battle round buff, where you simply smash all your opponent's models with a hammer because they didn't hate you enough for shooting them twice in a turn with 15 bow snakes already. Like everybody else, Doc come with a range of sub-factions to choose from, like the objectively best one, the snake one, subjectively best one, and other. The army within these sub-factions can take many shapes, often powered by hot lady priests in hot rods and hot dommy mummies, leading hot ladies with knives, mysteriously hot ladies with whips, hot snake ladies with bows or blades, or hot devil ladies. Also, the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz got a hell of a glow up. DOK also have an excellent selection of endless spells and invocations to choose from, including a giant snake made of blood that just straight up eats your opponent's models, because sometimes this game is so rad it hurts. And now, you know how to play Daughters of Cain in Age of Marathi.